Hi everybody, it's Rachel from Reddick Library here today to show you how to do string art. I learned how to make string art about a year or two ago. I took a class um, and it was super fun, very relaxing, um, but I finished this one at my class, my little coffee cup, and I want to do another one for my office. So I'm gonna show you what you need in case you would like to do one also. And I wanna show you the finished product. All right, so once you have decided what you're gonna do, you're going to grab your board that you're gonna do your string art on, and then you either print out your template that you're going to use, or I am just going to use my china here to draw out my Mickey head. As you can see, I have sawed off the bottom of my board, made it to size. Um, I have sealed it with some poly because I like the natural wood look. I really didn't want to paint it because my string is very colorful already. I just needed it to seal. Um, and you can just barely see my little pencil of my Mickey ears on there. Um, and I've got found a little tiny hammer and I grabbed a handful of some finishing nails. But the first step, once you get your board all prepared, um, now comes the tedious part. So what you're going to do is you're going to outline whatever shape you're going to do. You can print it out. You can do your own. Um, go on Pinterest. They have a ton of great um, printables. Then once you get your shape transferred onto the board, you're going to find a finishing nail. These nails um, are about an inch long. They've got a little cap here. Um, and just test them. Nothing's worse than getting them all in and your string won't stay, but when you pull up on your string, once you knot it on here, you should not be able to pull it off. So you'll be able to wrap your string around it once you get to the part where all of your nails in. So I am just gonna take a little bit of time here and I'm gonna follow my line and place my nails about half an inch apart, about a fingertip in between everybody, not too much space. Um, and I'm gonna do it all the way around my Mickey head and I'll be back. So you see, I've got all these in and then every once in a while, you're just gonna kind of take a look. Are they all about the same height? Are they, I got a crooked one there, I gotta straighten out. You want them all about the same height. And I do have, I'm sitting here watching TV doing this. So I put a blanket underneath to protect my floor from my hammering. Um, but I am going to continue on. All right, so I have all my nails in. It takes a while. I just did a quick look. Were they all even? You kind of wiggle them. Do you have any loose ones? Because once you start pulling on them with the string, they will come loose and you'll need to fix them. Um, but then after that, you're just going to pick a spot to tie off. Mine's tied off right here. Pick what color, what color string you're going to be using, and then you will just take them to a nail, weave it around. Sometimes you can weave it around there twice, any direction. The most important thing, which is sometimes the hardest for me because I'm very type A, is... There is no wrong way to do this. You're gonna do it, you can undo it, you can change the colors, there's no perfect way. Figure out what you like, how thick you want the string to be, do you wanna see the wood behind it? You, There's no right or wrong way to do it. And getting real close to an end here of my string. So I'm gonna start another of this same color, uh, but you could switch colors at any point. And you're just gonna knot it to the string and I'm gonna trim off these little ends pretty close to this knot. And I'm gonna keep going until the whole thing is full. There you have it. Um, for this one, I needed some fun colors because I am adding this to a wall of Disney memorabilia from our vacations um, and puzzles and just fun things. So I needed some bright, fun colors. And I used probably eight to 10 skeins of embroidery floss for this. And I just need to go add some hooks onto the back and I will show you what it looks like when it is hung up. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you try some string art. If you do, put a picture in the comments. Let us see what you're working on. I'm going to work on next a reverse string art, and I'll add a picture here at the end of the video so you can see what those look like. They're really cool. Um, but I hope to see you soon. Bye.